Hi everyone, it's Allison from Fathom 5 Tarot. I'm here to do a week ahead reading for the week of January 24th to January 31st. Oh my god. I was questioning myself. I had to sing the song. Jeez. It's been that kind of week, you guys. Um, I did a fantastic week week ahead reading last week. Um, and the sound didn't record for some reason. Seems to be working fine now. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it was really good. I loved it. It was a great reading. It was helpful to me. And then I posted it on YouTube without even looking because I am dumb. And then a bunch of people had to message me and say, there's no sound on your video. And I tried to re-record it and then I just couldn't, it, whatever. Didn't happen. So here I am. Last week of January, the world has uh, changed a little bit this week, which is good, in my opinion. And uh, we'll see now, moving forward. This is a reading for the collective. Whatever works for you, great. Doesn't work for you, sorry. <laughs> Non-specific. And I'm using my Morgan Greer tarot today, which I just had an urge to pull it out. This one's really old. It's pretty worn. It's a terrible shuffling accident there. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm pretty tired. It's been a long week. So let's see what we get here. Oh, okay. Oh. This is interesting. Okay, I think I might pull a full, few more cards on this. So we had a jumper, as I always seem to at the beginning, the King of Cups. I've got a Rider Waite here. Uh, the Knight of Cups is next. And then the Six of Pentacles. So um, one of the things, do I have a Rider Waite handy? Uh, one of the things about this deck that um, it takes me a while to it took me a while to really get into the Morgan Greer and I'm going to use the Rider Waite Smith just in case people aren't as familiar who are watching. Um, as you can see, it's a really facey deck. It's really close up, which I now love, but it took me a little bit of a while to jive with it for that reason. And what I want to say about the King of Cups in particular will be better illustrated on a Rider Waite Smith. So maybe I should just use that instead of just burning up all this dead air time. And uh, maybe I'll pull all... Well, I probably don't need the knight, though. Oh, do, 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 but I might try and get that pentacles out of there. Maybe I should just use this deck, you guys, but whatever. If it's too hard to do, I won't do it. Um, it might be too hard to do. Uh, but one of the things, I, I find the King of Cups such an interesting card. And I'm sorry, I feel like maybe I pulled the King of Cups my last week ahead reading. Or maybe it was two weeks ago. I don't know. Whatever. No, I think it was last week. So maybe this is coming out again, a continued energy for this week. Um, I can't talk and do this at the same time, clearly. I was looking for the um, Six of Pentacles. It's in here somewhere, but I can't talk and whatever. I'll just talk about it. Um, but so the King and the Knight of Cups are really emotional cards, right? I think of the King of Cups, you know, he's such an interesting one because he's like the, the patriarch of the suit, right? He's, um, you know, that the suit is really of the emotions and this is the top level of the emotions. And yet in the Rider Waite Smith, um, I find the King of Cups to be actually quite a detached card. I don't know if you can hear my cat meowing down there. Um, here she is. Hi, baby. <laughs> you want to come and do a tarot reading with me? Okay. I told you. I told you everything in my life is chaos, and you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, 
So he's of the water in that he's surrounded by water, but he's not in the water in any way. His cup doesn't look that full. There's no little fish jumping out of it like the page. Um, and he's got his feet up on his platform or plinth, if you will. He's not like in the water. And I find his facial expression, this is a crap. This is the most meaningful tarot deck to me, but it's not a good printing. Um, an old Rider Waite Smith, but he looks in every way reserved and detached. Whereas the Knight of Cups has that knight energy, right? Like your emotional knight in shining armor, your white knight, right? Coming to be all of the romance. So to have these two show up in a reading together is super interesting to me. Sorry, the computer is being bumped by the cat. Stop it. Find a spot and be there. Um, because this is like, again, like if we're going to go masculine, feminine, I, I don't always truck with that very much, but like this, the two highest masculine energies in the cups. And yet this one like really forward moving, romantic, passionate, powerful emotion versus senior reserved over here. Um, so that's super interesting. And then we have the six of pentacles, which I always think of in conjunction with the five of pentacles, right? So the five of pentacles is the two people like outside of the church. As a matter of fact, I just, oh, here it is right on top. I was like, I've seen it. There's the five in the Morgan Greer, right? The sense of being left out in the cold and, um, you know, so close to something that can help, but not actually within it. Whereas the six, um, is this figure who is giving away to people who need it. And one of the things that I really find interesting about the Morgan Greer, because it's so close up, it takes out the people away. Um, and it's this sort of, again, benevolence, but it seems a little bit more withholding and reserved to me when I see it in this particular form. Like you've got six pentacles, there's one in your hand, there are two hands outstretched, and you're holding the judgment scales, like you know, the scales of balance, like really weighing out what you give at a time when maybe there needs to be more to be given. So there's a real sense in these three cards being here together of um, like reservation and, um, you know, the potential to have lots of emotion, lots of um, perhaps romantic emotion. Sorry, I shouldn't talk and shovel at the same time. Um, and yet not fully giving everything away. So let's throw a couple more cards uh, onto this bad boy and uh, and see what we get out of it. Just to see. I'm going to still use the Morgan Greer, even though I am talking a lot about the Rider Waite Smith and those associations. Um, God, I do love this Morgan Greer deck though. Okay, so to, in addition to that, um, we drew the sun and the ace of pentacles. So with this clarification, right, so the ace of pentacles, I see, of course, it's the beginning, it's earthy, um, often associated with money and material things, but I also really associate it with things of the body, things of the flesh, sensuality, and we have the sun. And in the Morgan Greer deck in particular, there is this like um, connection between people in this particular version of the sun. No baby, no horse. Like um, very much, this is like, it's super positive, these two cards in this perhaps like emotional realm to ground the realm. So I guess what I would say is that if you're feeling like, there's this opportunity, this emotional opportunity to really get into it this week, right? To, to give up your emotions, but you're feeling reserved and like you need to hold back, which is actually often a really great idea, self-protection. But the cards are saying like, there's stability here, right? If you want to run a little bit with that Knight of Cups energy and get emotionally involved and whatever energy that you're feeling from the people around you, it seems like it's an energy you can actually trust and give over your emotions. If you're a person who is very reluctant to do that, this looks like a good week to me to 
to strike out and to take a bit of an emotional leap of faith where maybe you haven't before or maybe you haven't trusted yourself to before. So wouldn't that be nice? Uh, so if there's somebody new in your life, and it doesn't have to be romantic, I do often think of the Knight of Cups as quite a romantic card, but it may not be. But if you've been reserved and not really sure if this is something that you want to do, a trust that you want to take on, I'd say uh, maybe it's time to just open those walls a little bit. Don't forget the lesson of the King of Cups, right? It's always good to keep a sense of self. Always. Oh, always. Um, and don't drown in the emotions of another person or your emotions that you sort of conjure for another person if it's not grounded in reality. But these two cards are very grounded. And uh, I don't know. Looks good to me. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you found it helpful. And I hope that your week is full of trustworthy, grounded emotions uh, that you can really swim around in and enjoy. And we'll be back with another reading next week. Have a good one.